In this video, we're going to look at a new feature in ChatGPT. It's called Canvas. Now, it's actually a really, really useful feature. So to get it, it, because it's still in beta mode, you do need to click on the model and then click on GPT 4.0 with Canvas. You do need a paid ChatGPT account to do this. And we'll actually see what it does in a second. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got a, a prompt here. I've just said, please help me draft a LinkedIn post about three ways nonprofits can use the new ChatGPT Canvas feature for their work. I'll provide some details about Canvas from the OpenAI website below. So I just went to uh, OpenAI website, their release notes about Canvas. I just copied all of this and I've pasted it below. Now we're going to click run. And what you can actually see happen is this <laughs> it opens a literally what it's called canvas and it's pretty much like a google doc or a word on the right hand side and chat gpt on the left now this provides us with lots of really interesting ways to continue firstly we can edit directly in the document so you can make notes and change anything you want right here but say you want to edit the length of this document you can either request to ChatGPT here to change the whole document, or we've got some additional features on the bottom right. One of them is length. So let's make it uh, the shortest it can be. And let's see what that is, because on LinkedIn, you often want something punchy and to the point. All right, so we've got three new ways they can use it, grant proposals and reports. I think grant proposals could be helpful. Don't have too much about reports. Campaign content, definitely, and code updates. Interesting. All right, let's actually ask it to focus more on creative content. So here we're going to prompt ChatGPT just like you would in a thread to actually rewrite the whole um, output. So I'm going to say, please focus rather on creative content, not coding and reporting. And this will actually rewrite this it may keep one part, uh, part of it that campaign content um yeah but here we've got storytelling and creative projects and social media posts and i think this is actually much more aligned with the value that canvas provides let's say we actually wanted to turn this into a blog post so we wanted it to be at much longer we're going to turn it the longest it can be and help see when it rewrites it we're actually seeing it live in real time expand each one of these these dot points to really provide a lot more detail and we've got other options here as well we can change the reading level so are we going to use simple english are we going for more academic level you can add a final polish which just reformats it a little bit add some subheadings some sections and you can add emojis now, when you add emojis, it seems to go wild with emojis. Let's actually add it and you'll see it. it um, <laughs> almost every third word there is an, an emoji. This is very intense. This is very hard to actually look at. So you can come back on the left hand side here and just say, please remove all the emojis and it will do that i think they it's gone completely overkill on the emoji enthusiasm that it has and one last feature that i do want to show you you can edit a section within the content so hover over a paragraph and on the top right we see a little plus symbol in the chat bar now you can simply ask it to edit only this section or you can even ask it to explain so we're going to say here please make this section bullet points and what it will actually do is only edit that section it will keep the rest of it as it was so you can see two and three are still a narrative but number one is simply a bullet point section so hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into canvas mode i think it's incredibly useful I'm, i've started to use it a lot more lately there's a lot of things that can be done with it. Let's uh, let's add our final polish and just see what it does. Probably going to see a bit more subheadings and heading. You know, you've got some more structure here. Just makes it look a lot nicer. You can now copy and paste this into Google Docs or Word. Make your final edits. Always important to keep that human in the loop, and you can get some really powerful, useful outputs here. 
So just as a quick recap, remember on the left hand side, you have your normal chat GPT. You can ask it to make any changes to the entire document. But in the canvas, you can hover over a section and edit just that section or just the paragraph. You can click and edit it directly within the document. And on the bottom right, we have these options to suggest edits, adjust the length, change the reading level, add a final polish. And if you would really like to add all of those emojis. As always, any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.